adventure. Here's romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, the shame oh. is getting closer. This way, Pancho, Pablo. The Cisco Kid. <laughs> Exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. It is Saturday night in the little town of Prairie Junction. Hands from the surrounding range country are celebrating payday. Their pockets well filled with money, their throats parched and dry, and needing refreshment. Lights glow from the windows of unpainted buildings lining the rutted main street of the town, while horses, tied at hitch rails, stand patiently waiting. As our story opens, the Cisco Kid and his ever-present companion, Poncho, are walking along the board sidewalk. Plenty people here, Cisco. Big place, this Prairie Junction. See, si, amigo. Once in a while, it's all right to come to the town, but for us, uh, it's much better the wide-open spaces, eh? For Pancho, see. Si. For Cisco, that's for sure. Now, Pancho, how do you mean that? Uh... Cisco always liked the big, wide country. To ride with the wind, to sleep under the stars. Then why, Cisco, do you brush your hair so careful? Do you trim the mustache, do you polish your boots? Oh, must always look good, Pancho. Caballeros always feel better. <laughs> Cisco, Pancho, no. The sweet-smelling stuff you put on your hair is not to catch the bees with. Pancho knows so much, maybe he tells Cisco, no? Pancho tells Cisco is fixed like a trap to catch the beautiful senorita. Oh, Pancho, you <coughs> cannot... Careful, amigo, you fall. Wait, Pancho. I kick something. Wait, I'll find it. You look too, Pancho. It's very dark here, Cisco. Yeah, I got it, Pancho. You got it? You went in the street. Huh? Yeah, feels like a wallet. Huh? Some probably drop it. It's light coming from the window of the bank. Yeah, we go there and look. Uh-huh. Jeez, a wallet, Pancho. What a lot of money in it, too. The Pancho, the Pancho, the Pancho. Here is the senor's name, burned in the leather. Uh, the name is Nate Parker. Uh, the Pancho, look, Uncle. Aye, the light she go out. Gee, someone turn out the light in the bank. Better be on your way, you two. I beg your pardon, senor. They said you two better move along. Dangerous business standing around in front of a bank. Yeah, what side you got there? It's a wallet we found. Belongs to a senor Parker. Found it, did you? Dead. But we did, senor. We will now find the owner and give it to him. You just turn it over to me, Henri. I'll find the owner and give it to him. Oh, no, senor. Oh, no? Well, why not? Because we, we return it ourselves. We do not know you, senor. And I don't know you, but I'll return the wallet. Now give it here. <coughs> Sorry to do that, senor. Hope I have not hurt your arm. But you understand how it is. Yes, I understand very well. You return it by getting on your horses and riding away as you can. Cisco, why we argue with him? No reason, Pancho. Come, we go. Uh-huh. All right, you two. Just don't let the share of that wallet. Hey, Pancho, you see? Uh-huh. It's very hard to make people believe what they do not want to believe. See, si, Cisco. Better we do what the hombre say, huh? Get on the horse and ride away fast. No, Pancho, amigo. We find Senor Parker and return his wallet. But, Sisky... Si, Pancho, we start across the street and look in each one until we find him. You got a street now, Shell? Yeah, sure, Nate. Just wait till the celebrating gets going a little higher, and then we slip out the back way and round to the bank. That's right. It'll be a cinch. Old man Benedict and that man who works for him will be home and asleep. And with all the noise going on around town, won't be any trouble at all. Another round, boys? No, just we've had enough. Got to be hightailing it pretty soon. Got a long ride ahead of us. What do we owe you, partner? That'll be two bucks, six bits, boys. Right. Hey, Joe. Yeah? Lost my wallet. Are you sure? Sure. I had it right in the left-hand hip pocket. Now it's gone. Well, lifted, you reckon? Maybe, but 
Most likely have lost it. Well, boys, I'd pay up and make room at the bar. Just a minute, friend. We changed our minds. Give us more of the same. He ain't gonna have any trouble paying for it, are you? Shut up, you, and do as he said. Sure, sure, boys. No offense, now. No offense. That's better. You reckon losing that wallet's gonna upset things? No, no, Shell. That wallet had my name engraved on it. Don't like to leave any evidence around town. Momento, please, senor. Yeah? I'm looking for Senor Parker. You happen to know him? No, friend. I never heard of him. Oh, that's too bad. We have looked everywhere for him. Who's that, Shell? I don't know, but he's asking for one of us. Yeah. wonder what he wants. Uh, better not let him know who we are. Maybe things is getting a little hot around here. First I lost my wallet, then somebody comes in asking for one of us. Let's get going. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Just might be this hombre found your wallet and wants to return it. Who'd be silly enough to do that? Uh, you never can tell. It just might be one honest man don't around here. make me laugh. Hey, go sit at that table in the corner. I'll talk to the fellow. If it should be he's got your wallet... I'll steer him over to you. All right, try it, but don't take any chance. Yeah. Yeah, uh, howdy, stranger. Si, senor. Heard you asking about an hombre named Parker. Si, I'm very anxious to find him. Any particular reason? Si, a very particular reason. You know him? Yeah, I know him. Oh, that is good. Will you take him to me, please? Not so fast. Uh, just tell me what you want to see him about. Oh, it's a private reason. One I could not discuss with a stranger. Oh, no. Now, look, hombre, I asked you a question, didn't I? That, that, I'm not inclined to answer your question. Now, just a minute. When I ask a question, I always get an answer. This time, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Oh, I won't. You will let go of my arm, please? Answer my question. Of course, senor. What's the trouble here? No trouble, senor. This is a private event. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Turn him loose. I will when it is safe to do so. He won't talk to me, Nate. Oh, no? A moment, senor. Your name is Nate? What about it? You are perhaps Senor Nate Parker? Well... Don't answer him, Nate. If you are Senor Nate Parker, then I have good news for you. Yeah? I have something which is of value to you. What is it? You have lost something, maybe. Maybe. If you will describe it, I will be glad to return it to you. What is it to describe? That is for you to answer. Be careful, Nate. Oh, there is really nothing to be careful about. This is a very simple matter. Just got to be careful, stranger, you know. Well, I did lose something. A wallet. That is as I thought. You will describe the amount of money it contains? Yeah, if I rightly remember, it had about six dollars in it. And the kind of wallet it was? Dark brown cowhide. Had my name burned into it. And your name is? Parker. Nate Parker. Oh, it's very well, Senor Parker. Here is your wallet. Good. Give me it. Hey, you better check, see if he didn't steal some of that money. I think you will find the money all there. And now that I have found you, Senor Parker, I go. Adios. And just remember, stranger, next time, don't be so smart when somebody asks you questions. Believe me, Senor, with you, there will not be a next time. On your way now, and don't be too sure there won't be a next time. Senor Parker is very gracious. Cisco will always remember him. Again, Senores. Adios. Hey, he said Cisco. You reckon that's the Cisco kid? Yeah, sure, could be. I ain't never seen the Cisco kid, but that hombre sure answers the description. He's a pretty tough gent to mix with, Nate. Guess we'd better forget this bank job. Sure, you're dumb. You can't talk to anybody without getting in that trouble. Another minute and you'd been trying to slug it out with Cisco. Sort of up to me to straighten things out. Well, it's done now, I... What about this bank job? We go through with it just the same? No, Shell, I guess we won't. Leastwise, not just the same as we'd planned it. With the Cisco kid in town and knowing us, that stacks things up and anything happens and he'll be after us. Well, this job's too good to miss, Nate. You could figure a way out. You're smart. Yeah, maybe I can. Let's see now. Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. This wallet of mine that Cisco returned. Maybe we can get rid of this. To do with it. Come on, Shell. We're going down the road to see the sheriff. I'll explain it all to you on the way. That single Parker, he not very nice when you give him back his pocketbook, Cisco. I am afraid this Parker is a pretty tough hombre, Pancho. Uh-huh. 
Sometimes it makes Cisco wonder if he's so wise, to be honest. Mm, Pancho trying to tell you this for a long time, Cisco. Oh, Pancho, Cisco was just saying this. Uh -huh. Must always be honest, Pancho. Why? Honest men always sleep much better at night. Mm, Pancho sleep all right at night. In the daytime, too. See, si, amigo, that proves what I'm telling you. What, 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 what? That Pancho is an honest man, too. Mm, Pancho think maybe, but not too sure. Uh, Cisco... Where we go now? Well, Pancho, amigo, we get out of this town. But first we buy a few things and then we go, eh? Yeah, it's good with Pancho. Too many people, too many troubles. Come, Pancho. Uh -huh. We go to the stores and then we ride away. And so, Sheriff, we're standing peaceable at the bar when this hombre put the arm on me. This was up at the Little Six Cafe, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, anyway, I ain't much of a hand at fighting, Sheriff, being a peace-loving man. But my brother, Shell, here, pitched in and helped me. You needed help, did you? Yeah, he needed help, Sheriff. When I saw this hombre list my brother's wallet out of his hip pocket after he hit him, I waited right in. You got your wallet back? No. No, he didn't, Sheriff. That's why we're here, to get you to help. This hombre took the wallet, broke away from us, and ran. Mm, what's he look like? You got a description of him? Yeah. He's a big, dark, good-looking gent. Maybe you know him. The Cisco Kid. The Cisco Kid? Well, now, stranger, that don't sound like Cisco to me. You sure it was him? You sure he's in town? It was him, all right. He grabbed my wallet and lit out. Don't sense. But if you're swearing out a complaint, I'll go along with you and try to find him. Good, good, Sheriff. But uh, if you don't mind, wait here. We ain't anxious to meet up with him again. Now, boys, you'll have to come along. I'll need you as witnesses if we can find him. Hey, Nate, uh, we can't go through with this. Sheriff accuses Cisco of stealing your wallet. All the time, you got it right in your pocket. I know, I know. There's nothing else we can do. We're in this thing. We got to go through with it. Coming, stranger? Um, uh, yes, Sheriff, yes, we'll, uh, we're right with you. Howdy, Rick. Uh, howdy, Sheriff. Got everything all locked up tight at the bank? Yep, left about an hour ago. Stopped in to buy a few things. I'm on my way home. Well, what are you up to? Got a complaint here about the Cisco kid. You know him? Heard of him. Ain't ever seen him. What's the trouble? These two strangers here claim he lifted a wallet from them. Yeah? Say, now, wait a minute. This Cisco kid, is he a big, good-looking hombre that travels with kind of a funny little fat man? Yep, that's Cisco and Poncho. Sheriff, I seen them two looking at a wallet in front of the bank, and I tried to get them to give it to me. You did, eh? Well, that's evidence, all right. Wonder if they left town yet. Well, they ain't gone, Sheriff. I seen them in the gem trading post just now as I was passing. Well, I'll be... Come on, boys, I'll need you. We may have a little bit of trouble with Cisco, but I'm afraid he'll spend tonight in jail. <laughs> with Cisco as the innocent victim. In just a moment, we'll bring you the exciting climax of this story in the adventure of the Cisco Kid. And now, back to the Cisco Kid. With the sheriff approaching to arrest Cisco for stealing Nate Parker's wallet on trumped-up and completely circumstantial evidence, Cisco and Poncho, not suspecting that they're the object of a search, are quietly completing their purchases at the Gem Trading Post. There you are. One cinch buckle. Anything else you want? Gracias, no, senor. How much is that? One dollar. One peso? Yeah. Well, let's go now, Pancho. Si, sí, Cisco. We go back to the camp now? Oh, we are both tired and... Look. 
come those two hombres from the cafe. Yeah, and the sheriff, too. Stand yeah, right where you are, Cisco. We are not moving, senor. All right, Parker. Search him. Yeah, sheriff. Un momento, sheriff. You told this hombre to search me? That's right. And don't try to resist either. He does not put his hands on me, senor sheriff. I will not allow that. Why should I be searched anyway? Now, Cisco, you know Consan well why I'm telling him to search you. And don't start nothing, Cisco. Don't make no trouble. He is not going to lay hands on me. No, try and stop me, you dirty... Oh, God, God, push him into me. I want you, Cisco. I'll shoot. No, oh, you will hey, not, you, sir. Back over here. We gotta work fast, Shell. Yeah. Hey. Somebody coming in. Douse the lantern quick. Hey, he's lighting the lamp. What? He shall see us. I'll take care of that. Wait now. You there? The bank safe. Not a word out of you, Mister. We started this job and we're gonna finish it. Get those hands up high. Can't get away with this. I'm the owner of this bank and you're not gonna rob it. He's reaching for a gun, Nate. You killed him, Nate. Never mind that. Quick, dump the rest of the money in the sack. Yeah. Don't forget to drop the wallet there. Sure, sure. There, yeah, right beside the safe. That'll get the Cisco kid charged with murder. Hey, it's, it's Tom Benedict. Murdered. Wait, wait. I'll make sure. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Well, well, let's start looking for the murderer. There was nobody here when I came in, Sheriff. After that little trouble you had up the street, I just thought I'd stop by the bank again. Met Will here, and just as we came by, we heard shots. Tom Benedict must have come back and surprised the robbers. He's been looted, has he? Ain't hard to... Hey, what's this? This leather case of some kind. Hey, you don't suppose... Yep, right beside the safe, too. Got a name on it. Look, Rick. Nate Parker. Nate Parker? Yeah, that's the same wallet I saw the Cisco kid looking at. And the same one that was stole from Nate Parker. It all ties up, don't it, Sheriff? Yep, Rick. The Cisco kids robbed this safe and killed Tom Benedict. In the excitement, he dropped this wallet he stole from Nate Parker. Yeah. Mm, I never believed it. Well, boys, it's just one thing. Come on. We've got some manhunting to do. The Cisco kid's a murderer. Come on. Pancho, what is wrong? Pancho not can sleep. Cisco. See? Si. Pancho very much worried. What about him, Milo? Those two hombres what, got the sheriff after us. Pancho think there's something wrong there. <laughs> oh, do not worry about that, Pancho. Yeah, no, the no. Parker brothers, they are just mean, bad people who like to make trouble. Si. Uh, but they not bother us, amigo. Uh, Pancho got the feeling of troubles. What do you think about breaking the camp and moving away from here now, Cisco? Huh? Huh? Did you do this? Did you do this? No, no, no. Pancho. Oh, come Honest men with that guilty conscience have no cause to worry. We sleep here peacefully. Well, maybe you sleep, but Pancho is like this. Ah, oh, Pancho. Wait. Santo, what is that? Right, it's Pancho coming for us. Go Pancho note, Pancho note. Look, look, is it trouble? Well, let us get out of here. Diablo! Diablo! Uh, uh, we not have time to saddle, Cisco. No, Pancho, come, hurry. Uh, we not make it, Cisco. Uh, hurry, Pancho. Uh, 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 Santo, now he's murdered. Wait, Senor Sheriff, listen to me. Wait, nothing, Cisco. You and Poncho are going to jail. Well, no, they ain't, Sheriff. They're going to hang. And tonight, too. What's that you say, Rick? You heard me. Tom Benedict was my best friend. Me and the boys talked it over. We're staging a hanging tonight. Oh, no, you're not. They're my prisoners, and they're going to jail and wait for a legal trial. Then they'll hang. Drop that gun, Sheriff. I got mine right in your back. I'll pull the trigger if I have to. You, you wouldn't dare. 
I'm the law. Tonight we're the law, Sheriff. And we say they hang. Tie them to a horse. Wait, you cannot do this. After you get them tied up, throw them onto their horses. I know an oak tree just right for a hang. No, no, we do nothing. Do not hang us. No. No. Well, I reckon there's two sides to that question. And we're on the side with the guns. All right, come on, boys. The Cisco kid's going to die tonight. Let me see. That's $6,300, Shell. Be fair for a half hour's work, huh? <laughs> Over $3,000 apiece, Nate. We ain't never done better than that. Yeah, and the best part of it is we ain't going to get any part of the blame for it. We're clear and safe. Hey, Nate. Horses coming along the trail. It's a posse. They must be hunting us. Something's going wrong. Quick, the lantern. Blow it out. Shove the money into them saddlebags there. We're a good ways off the trail. They might not see us. Nate... <laughs> They might go on past us. We ain't taking no chances on that. Hand me them bills there. Hey. Hey. They are riding past, Nate. Why, thunder. And look what they got. Them two hombres up front. That's a Cisco kid and that fat partner of his. You sure? Sure, that's a Cisco kid. They got him trussed up. That can mean just one thing, Shell. Necktie party. Right. They found the wallet by the safe. They knew Cisco had it. Everything's worked out fine. Come on, Shell. We're going to a hanging. And it ain't us that gets hung. All right, boys. Pass them ropes over this limb and knot them with a loop. Look, senor, this has gone far enough. You have no proof that Pancho and I robbed that bank and killed the owner of it? None at all. No? We found the wallet you stole from Nate Parker laying right beside the pre- the safe. And that's all the proof we need. But she's going to see the pocketbook. That Parker hombre lied to you. Honestly, do. We got the liars and they're you. And you'll pay with your lives for killing my boss, Tom Benedict. Your boss? I worked for Tom Benedict in the bank. You say the bank safe was robbed. Search us then for the money. If you find it honest, then we are guilty. Uh, you're too smart to carry it with you. You probably cast it somewhere. Hey, who are these two? I'm Nick Parker, and this is my brother Shell. I'm the man that skunk stole the wallet from. Yeah. And he come just in time to see justice done, mister. Fix the ropes, boys. Already? Wait, senores. I appeal to your fairness. You cannot hang us just because we stole 50 or 60 dollars from that safe. Madre mia. There were 60 dollars. There were 6,300. See, hombre? Speak on. You are going to say $6,300, eh? How do you know how much there was in the safe? Well, I, uh, I, I heard somebody say that that was the amount of what it was. Well, that's about how much there was, all right. But I didn't tell anybody. Look in those saddlebags, senores. How about searching those two for the money? And how about asking them who killed the banker? No. Anybody come near us and you'll eat less. Yeah, you fool. There are you killers. Right for your left. Come on, get up. Get up. A river, Nate. We're coming to a river. Uh, right in. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh, oh, there. Well, what do we do? Swim the horses across? No, the moon's too bright. They'd see us if we tried that. Well, what do we do? They're coming after us. Hey, get down. Get down and slap your horse hard. I'll do the same. Make them run so as they'll lead those devils away from us. Then you and me will go into the river, quick. Put the money in the saddlebag. Yes, the money. we got to save our own skins. Get up there. Have it. Get, yeah. up there. Yeah. Get away there. Now, yeah. into the river. Swim for it if you want to keep on living. Hey, Pancho. Yeah? Hey. Those two horses have no riders. Oh, devil. Oh, look, oh, look. What happened to the bandidos? They're not on the horses. They pulled a trick on us. Ah. The money is still in the saddlebags, I think, Pancho. Well, let us catch the horses then. Oh, let us look in the river for the bandidos. Uh, Cisco, Cisco, uh, Pancho, see them in the river. They're there. Look, look, look. See, see, come. In we go. Come down. Come down. Uh, we will have them very quick. Come we go. Well, we've got no guns. We do not need guns to handle these hombres. Come. French hell, now get us. Ah, uh, that is right, hombre. We have you now. Come here. Come here. Take the other one, Pancho. Pancho, get him. Good, Pancho. Pancho, have a trouble, Cisco. I'm not going to swim. Hold on to Loco. There. He will pull you ashore. Oh, 
Which is why I lose hold. It's very deep. Oh, now you finish this fight, I will get you. It's all right. I'm to stand in the bottom. Good, Pancho can walk to shore. See, Pancho can... Pancho is standing in the bottom. Pancho is standing at the other bandido. Hey, you come up here, Mother Mia. Dirty trick that hombre Parker play on us, huh, Cisco? Say, Pancho was very bad trick, very mean trick. Uh, Cisco, say. all the time when the posse have us, Pancho think about the trick a rich man played on Pancho when Pancho was a little niño. What was this great thing that Pancho remembered so long? Well, when Pancho very small, was a very rich man. He liked to play tricks. He the Santaba is very hot and throw them into the street for the ninos to scramble. Oh, this is not good. Mm. It was the other ninos scrambling and get the hands hurt with very hot Santabas, but Pancho not try it. Certainly not. Pancho have too much sense. Mm, see, and then there is hombre come to the window and wave a big gold piece. <laughs> he threw it out into the street. Did the ninos run and try to get it? Nah, they too smart by this time. Then one or two get a little brave, and, and they fight for the hot gold piece, and they roll in the dust. And get very bad burns on her hands. Oh, that is very cruel, amigo. Yeah, very cruel. And finally, one Nino win and run off with the gold piece. Very lucky fella, too. Lucky? How do you mean, Pancho? Yeah, the gold piece make him very rich. You see all this in your machacho, Pancho? Yes, yes, go. I see all this. And you just stand there and watch? What do you mean, stand there and watch? Where do you think I get all these scars on my fingers? Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. (laughs) (laughs) And so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. Sure to listen again for another thrilling adventure of the Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather, Poncho by Harry Lang. (laughs) 